pay attention, pay attention to these next parts. The electrical is uh, super important when it comes to the food truck because without the electric, uh, you pretty much can't run. Everything runs on electricity, your lights, your exhaust fan, um, your uh, refrigerator. And so you wanna make sure that you get it 100% right. So we're running the, we call it the service cable or in this case, it's called an SO cable. We use the number eight and um, the panel, we're trying to like place it into where it's gonna go. On my, on my truck right now, we are rolling burritos. This is a DIY series, how to build your food truck. We're in the electrical part right now. On my food truck called Rolling Burritos, I have it a little bit over here. But uh, now that I have built it, I find that over here, it'd be a little bit better. I was almost thinking about putting it all the way to the front on top of the where the compartment sinks are gonna be at, but I just didn't like having it on top of the water. So with that, we're gonna set it up here. This is kind of the the rough the rough estimate. The rough estimate of where the service panel, the breaker panel is gonna be at that uh, the generator cord is gonna run right in through here, the top hole, and then it's gonna feed into these two conductors to show you guys how to do that. So pay attention in these next videos because it is one of the most important parts of the food truck is running your generator cable out to the front and then putting your plug in there. So Frank Baltier is with the DIY series, how to build your food truck, the electrical part right now. So now what we're gonna do is to put the service panel up or the breaker panel. I circled my two holes on there so we're gonna cut like a little square right here and a little square right there that way we can bring in all the cables being the Romex that I showed you guys into this hole and then that's where the service cable is gonna come in or the generator cable which we're gonna call it and then we're gonna run all this Romex all down this way show you guys how to do that but to install the service panel we're gonna cut a square right here and a square right there and then we're gonna run that cable straight down and out to the front of the trailer. So let's get that started. So let's do the recap on all the electrical. We got it all ran. It seems like it actually, I had a, we call it a home run. So it's a home run is something that goes from a beginning to an end with no breaks in between. And I had from the panel all the way to the front. And I, I didn't like it because uh, it just didn't seem right. So I took it off. And what I did is I took this one, which I labeled it right here, lights, window, and water heater. I ran it right up the top. We're gonna break it right here where that light comes. And then it's gonna come right here to my switches. So there's gonna be some switches right here with some outlets. And then, which is right here, which it says home run. And then this window, I ran it to go across all this side. And it's gonna come over to this side where it also says window. And that's gonna control the lights. And this one controls the lights as well. Just make sure you uh, know what cable what wire connects the power and which one's the switch leg two different ones and then this one goes to the sink and then another switch leg for this light which is this one right here we call it a home run this is your water heater pump it's going to be a switched outlet which means there's going to be a switch right here with an outlet right there that's called the switch outlet and then this is the the light so this colored cable right here is going to get connected to the red and then the black wire is your power. So that's what we call the constant power. And over here is the same concept. This light is gonna get connected to the red, right in there, same thing in there. And that's gonna be your constant power. And those have the lights that go right here. That's gonna be a light. That's gonna be a light and a light. So one, two, three, four. Hopefully that kind of explains what we're doing here. And then on this side, what I did, 
just to recap, like I said, one more time, this is the, for the fridge and for the exhaust fan. The exhaust fan has 2.9 amps. A fridge, typically a four foot one, is 8.3 amps. So those are, all these three go together. This exhaust fan is the power which goes to right here. And it's a rotary dial that gives the fan like a high and a low. And then this one goes all the way up top right here. And that's when we cut the hole for the fan, that's gonna go straight up into a uh, switch up there. Last but not least, we have one that says outlet extra. And that's this one right here that on my truck has a food warmer. It connects like a fan, miscellaneous. We're gonna put two outlets right here. We call it a quad one, two. So it's gonna be four outlets, but it's really two outlets. And then this one right here is gonna be just two outlets for the fridge. That's kind of the glimpse of the electrical just to give the recap on how we ran. We have three home runs. One goes to this side, which goes all to this side. One gets your fridge and your exhaust fan. So the fridge, and then it goes right there, and then up over there to the exhaust fan. And then the other one is this quad over there, because that, the food warmer and things like that can really suck up a lot of electricity, about seven amps, eight amps. And that's how I run my food truck on 30 amps. Hasn't given me any issues because I don't really run anything big on electrical because the water heater runs on propane. The water heat, the water pump um, is very minimal. The exhaust fan is 2.9 amps, 8, that's 7. And then all my burners and everything, uh, those are all propane. So there you go, that's the electrical. And the only thing left is to run the service cable right in there. So let's get on that real quick.